Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Previously I had discussed about so many PWM techniques for inverter circuit and today I will discuss about the simple 180 degree conduction mode for 3 phase inverter. You can see a 3 phase inverter circuit is present on the right hand side and in the left hand side you can see the waveform of the getting signals and the corresponding line voltages waveforms. And you already know that in 180 degree conduction mode each transistor will conduct for 180 degree and three transistors remain on at a same instant of time and there are six modes of operation in a cycle of 360 and the duration of each mode is 60 degree. In every 60 degree one switch will turn on and one switch will turn off simultaneously. You can easily get it from the waveform that at first switch S1 is on for 0 to 180 degree and after 60 degree duration switch S2 will on and then after 60 degree duration switch S3 will on and after that that is going on. So basically the getting signals are shifted from each other by 60 degree to obtain the three phase balance voltages and you know that there are 8 switching states are present for a 3 phase inverter circuit including 111 and 000 that is all the upper switches are on and all the lower switches are on. So from the graph you can easily recognize the switching state corresponding to the each 60 degree conduction mode and in the right hand side you can see phase voltage waveforms for the 180 degree conduction mode and for this PWM generation you can use a simple pulse generator in MATLAB. So let me show you how to generate the pulses for the switches and how to generate these phase voltage waveforms and the line voltage waveforms.
Yes, the line voltage is also perfect. So you can see this is a simple technique that how to simulate the 180 degree conduction mode in MATLAB. So if you like this video, hit the like button. For latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.